Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Blessed are you, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, and crowns you with steadfast love and tender mercy. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and of great goodness. Bless the Lord, O oh, oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Blessed are you, O oh, Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh, oh, my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. Put not your trust in princes, in sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When their breath departs, they return to their earth. On that very day all their plans perish. Blessed is the one whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. The Lord sets the prisoners free, the Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed low. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the orphan. But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
Now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O may be God and Son and Word of God, you are immortal. For our salvation you deign to be incarnate of the holy birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. You were crucified, Christ God, trampling down death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people shall revile you, and persecute you, and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice, and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Your Nativity, Virgin Birth, Giver of God, has proclaimed joy to the universe. The Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, has shone forth from you. By annulling the curse, he gave a blessing. By destroying death, he has granted us life eternal. Let all who rejoice at their triumph honor these three virgin martyrs, who are united to goddess sisters and pour forth fair streams of grace. Menadora, Metrodora, and Nymphodora, who were courageous in all things, they ever pray to the Holy Trinity for us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You endured suffering for the Trinity, and as sisters united in spirit, you defeated the enemy's guile. You have entered heaven with the five virgins, and with angels stand before the King. Now and ever into the ages of ages, Amen. By your birth, most pure virgin, Joachim and Anna were freed from childlessness and Adam and Eve from the corruption of death. We, your people, celebrate this, delivered from the guilt of sin as we chant to you. 
a barren woman gives birth to the birth giver of God, the mother of our life. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. The reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Galatians. Brethren, Paul, an apostle, not from men nor through men, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brethren who are with me, to the churches of Galatia, grace to you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. In what I am writing to you before God, I do not lie. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was still not known by sight to the churches of Christ in Judea. They only heard it said, He who once persecuted us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. And they glorified God because of me. Then after fourteen years I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus along with me. I went up by revelation, and I laid before them, but privately before those who were of repute, the gospel which I preach among the Gentiles, lest somehow I should be running or had run in vain. But even Titus, who was with me, was not compelled to be circumcised, though he was a Greek. But because of false brethren secretly brought in, who slipped in to, spot, to spy out our freedom which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage, to them we did not yield submission even for a moment, that the truth of the gospel might be preserved for you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Daughter, hear, see, and incline your ear. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The people of the land shall supplicate your favor. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Then they came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gadarenes. 
And when Jesus had come out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no one could bind him, not even with chains, because he had often been bound with shackles and chains, and the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles broken in pieces, neither could anyone tame him. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying out and cutting himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and worshipped him. And he cried out with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I implore you by God that you do not torment me. For Jesus said to him, Come out of the man, unclean spirit. That Jesus asked him, What is your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Also he begged Jesus earnestly that he would not send him out of the country. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there near the mountains. So all the demons begged Jesus, saying, Send us to the swine, that we may enter them. And at once Jesus gave them permission. Then the unclean spirits went out and entered the swine. There were about two thousand, and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the sea, and drowned in the sea. So those who fed the swine fled, and they told it in the city and in the country. And they went out to see what it was that had happened. Then they came to Jesus and saw the one who had been demon-possessed, and had the legion, sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And those who saw it told them how it happened to him who had been demon-possessed, and, and about the swine. Then they began to plead with Jesus to, to depart from their region. And when he got into the boat, he who had been demon-possessed begged him that he might be with him. However, Jesus did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends, and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you, and how he has had compassion on you. And he departed and began to proclaim in Decapolis all that Jesus had done for him, and all marveled. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. The choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, and then you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven, chant to you, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, in the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead in accordance with the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. 
I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord our God, who by your word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity, may you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantelemon Ministry who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, those who have no one to pray for them, and all of those afflicted with the coronavirus throughout the world, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy, and if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross, and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantelemon Ministry who have departed this life all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who are newly departed, especially Matushka Janet, Margaret, Maria, James, Scott, and Anne, and all those we cannot call to mind who have fallen asleep in your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. In your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have departed this life of Christ our God. To you we send up glory. With your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought, forgive us all in your goodness and love for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. All holy trinity, co-essential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good, be gracious to me, a sinner. Establish and give understanding to my heart. Remove every defilement from me. Enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify, chant hymns and worship you, saying, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. 
I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come to him and be radiant, and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord will camp around those who fear him, and will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you his saints, because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. It is truly proper to bless you, bird giver of God, ever blessed and most pure, and the mother of our God. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word, true birth giver of God, we magnify you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, O Lord bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Your Nativity, Virgin Birth, Giver of God, has proclaimed joy to the universe. The Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, has shone forth from you. By annulling the curse, he gave a blessing. By destroying death, he has granted us life eternal. Let all who rejoice at their triumph honor these three virgin martyrs, who are united to God as sisters and pour forth fair streams of grace. Menodora, Metrodora, and Nymphodora, who were courageous in all things, they ever pray to the Holy Trinity for us. <laughs> 